All right, so one last example here. Uh, and this time we're going to simplify an expression that involves some decimals. So we've got 12 minus uh, this quantity 0 0.3 plus the quantity 2.8. I'm going to rewrite this just to emphasize the number that's being squared is not negative 0 0.1 squared. The number that's being squared, I don't know if this will be too many parentheses, so there's my minus sign. The only number that's being squared is the 0 0.1, okay? So we'll have to be careful about our, our little, uh, you know, some, some sign issues there. But then let's close off the parentheses, close off the parentheses. So what we're going to do here now, um, you know, the first thing I'm going to do are my exponents. So I have 0 0.3 plus, let's see, 2.8 minus, again, because we're just really squaring 0 0.1. So let's see, what is 0 0.1 times 0 0.1? Well, I guess we could do long division if we had to. So 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times 0 is 0. We can drop down our 0. Then we'd have some extra zeros when we multiply. So let's see, we've got, uh, we would have to move the decimal place one places, two places total. So it looks like we would get 0 0.01. Let's see. Okay, so I think I've got all my parentheses in there. Okay, now we just kind of start moving, you know, inside out. So we have to go do the arithmetic inside the parentheses. So we've got 12 minus 0 0.3 plus, well, let's see, I guess 2.8 minus uh, 0 0.01. I always think about money for some reason. To me, it makes it sort of more tangible, and I can somehow do it in my head. This is like having $2.80. If somebody takes away one cent, well, I guess you've got $2.79 left over. Um, and now, again, I'm going to keep moving inside the parentheses. We could simply get rid of the parentheses around the 2.79. All right, so I think we're pretty close here now. We've got 12 minus. I'm going to do the arithmetic. Again, if you have $2.79 and somebody gives you 30 cents, you would have $3.09. And now it says we've got 12 minus 3.09. So if you have $12 and somebody takes away $3.09, let's see. If they took away $3, I guess you'd have $9. But they're taking away more than that, so we should have eight something. Well, if they take away another nine cents, you would have eight ninety-one left over. So our final solution here, um, after we simplify everything, we'll get eight point nine one.